What's going on everybody? JT here with JT Invest in You. And today I want to talk about Yieldly's brand new updated roadmap. They just released this a few hours ago and I couldn't be more excited about it. The Yieldly new product roadmap features, among other things, a creator-driven NFT marketplace, liquidity mining pools, auto compounding, governance, end-to-end -end automated launchpad, and NFT staking. All the independent audits for these products are either done or nearing completion. Very soon, the multiple product releases will culminate into the platform they have been building since day one, a one-stop protocol with use cases to fulfill the vital roles in a healthy DeFi ecosystem. Yieldly intends to continue to rapidly scale so that DeFi, Web3, and NFT ecosystems can flourish on Algorand. If you like the content, please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Now stick around while we do a deep dive on this roadmap. So first things first is we have the NFT marketplace. The timeline for this is Q4 2021, so coming up could happen any day. Yieldly plans to deliver a marketplace that lets you easily and securely mint, sell, exchange, buy, and auction ASA NFTs. Unlike other existing galleries, Yieldly's marketplace provides critical creator and curator tools such as auctions. Their marketplace will have its own dedicated IPFS gateway and supports the leading NFT standards. Any ASA NFT is interoperable with the marketplace, regardless of where it was minted. Expect one-of-a-kind offerings featuring top artist collaborations exclusively available on the marketplace. Next we have liquidity provider LP Pools. Timeline for this is also Q4 2021. The Teal5 liquidity provider pools are the soon-to-be primary source of DeFi rewards on Yieldly and Algorand. This product means that people staking on AMMs like the Algorand DEX Tinyman or any of the many DEXs soon to hit mainnet can use the rewards that accrue there, the LP tokens, and stake those rewards on Yieldly's platform. This incentivizes people to provide liquidity for AMMs and thus supercharges TVL for the ecosystem. Yieldly's world's first LP pools on Algorand are a win-win solution for Yieldly, other projects, and ASA token holders. They will launch three world first LP pools to start. The first pool will be an XET and ALGO pool. The joint pool will be an XET and Yieldly pool. And then the third pool will be a Yieldly ALGO pool. The ASA Yieldly pairs will ensure Yieldly is the baseline for other tokens and the most useful pairing in the ecosystem. An opportunity for Yieldly to expand its market coverage even more. While the staking pools in early 2021 were just the starting point, the LP pools are the main event. Now I think this is really awesome because as they mentioned, it incentivizes liquidity providing on AMMs such as Tinyman, which is absolutely crucial for the success of many projects. A lot of the whales are not going to come onto an exchange and buy a token that has very low liquidity because of the price impact they would have in doing so. So providing liquidity is an absolutely essential thing for a project's success. Next on their roadmap is auto compounding ASA staking pools. The timeline for this is also Q4 of this year. Soon you'll be able to start accruing auto-compounded tokens exclusively on Yieldly, home of the highest rewards on Algorand. These pools remove all complexities such as restaking and reward withdrawals. Expect ease of use, more compact functionality, and a better distribution scheme. No assets sitting idle. Now this one is also great even though it's probably one of the more underrated spots on their roadmap. However, think about it. You get rewards and you don't claim them until you get onto your computer, hit claim, and then restake those rewards. That could have been 8, 12, who knows how many hours those rewards were just sitting there idly not compounding for you. This 
will fix all of that. Your money will continue to compound automatically. No need to claim your rewards, no need to restake them. Your assets will be used as efficiently as possible within these staking pools. Next up, Yieldly is listing on Zipmex. A new exchange listing for Yieldly ERC20 on Zipmex. And yes, they are doing the Ethereum-based version of Yieldly, at least to start on Zipmex. Zipmex is a leading crypto exchange in Asia. And this listing is historic in that it will deliver the world's first pairing with Thailand's native currency and an Algorand project. Just last month, Zipmex Z launch went live and the Yieldly token was its inaugural token project. The team is working hard to secure new exchange listings for every quarter going forward. That is absolutely huge. A new exchange every single quarter, that would be great. Now starting in Q1 of 2022, we will be getting a Launchpad project incubation. So Yieldly, the first vertically integrated Launchpad on Algorand, is actively working with DeFi and NFT projects yet to launch. When screening projects to place into the incubator, the Yieldly team thinks about what makes a healthy ecosystem on Algorand. The team will nurture selected projects throughout the startup phase, providing them with all the necessary tools, resources, and technical services. On top of that, they will assist those projects with valuable network connections, fundraising, marketing, PR, and mentorship. That's absolutely huge. Yieldly launched on a launchpad called TrustSwap. If Yieldly could become their own version of TrustSwap, TrustSwap was also the launchpad that launched Opulus. Imagine if Yieldly could become that type of launchpad for all sorts of Algorand projects similar to itself and Opulus. That would be amazing. And it would be even more amazing if similar to on TrustSwap, where stakers of swap token have sort of first seat advantage to those upcoming projects, it would be awesome if token holders of Yieldly also had that first seat advantage in being able to invest in upcoming IDOs. Now here's a big one. The governance token. In Q1 of 2022, Yieldly will be launching a governance token. The governance token is waiting to be minted and it's called iYieldly. iYieldly will grant voting rights towards Yieldly. The new token will enable holders to propose governance actions modify various parameters, and arrive at consensus. Anyone who has interacted with Yieldly's dApps before the drop will be entitled to the governance token. They will airdrop a certain amount of iYieldly tokens to all who have opted in. The amount will be based on the user's historic usage of the platform prior to this article release. Now this is pretty interesting. Part of me was hoping that they would just use the current Yieldly token as their governance token, but there has to be a method to the madness, at least in my opinion. Also in Q1 of 2022, we have community ASA staking pools chosen via governance. Yieldly's future pool partners will soon be partially in the hands of the on-chain governance system. In other words, its users. A few months ago, Yieldly said they would launch dynamic staking pools with every reputable and serious project on Algorand. However, they've realized the community should decide who meets that criteria. On-chain voting proposals for all potential pool partners will proceed as follows. Stake, i.e. vote, with the governance token iYieldly in the governance pool. After governance for that specific proposal ends and consensus has been reached, withdraw your deposit and the rewards from staking it. Pretty straightforward. I wonder if those rewards will be traditional Yieldly tokens or if they will be more iYieldly governance tokens. Next on the list, we have VIP NFT prize games. This product is also set to be released in Q1 of 2022. The VIP NFT prize games will run alongside the original NFT no loss prize games. The main difference is that the VIP NFT prize games will exclusively showcase premium single edition NFTs by professional artists. For professional artists, the beauty of this new breed of prize games will lie within the commission they receive from the higher entry fees for users. Users will receive staking rewards, plus have the ability to win high value NFTs each week. 
Now, for those of us that love merch, this next one will be for you. In Q1 of 2022, they also plan to launch a bunch of merchandise. Begin 2022 in true style. Expect merch embroidered with the community's favorite lines, flambos, not lambos, spicy DeFi, and so on. To show their appreciation, they will also be surprising a number of community members with swag. That's pretty dope. Next up, verified liquidity swap integration. Timeline Q1 2022. Yieldly will integrate verified TinyMan links into the user interface. It's a simple addition that fits perfectly with their own position as a hub for liquidity on Algorand. Next up after that, because this roadmap is jam-packed and just never-ending, is liquidity locking, and this one is huge. The timeline for this is Q2 2022. Liquidity locking is a core offering in the Launchpad project incubation line. This product will allow projects to delegate control of their vaults to yield these secure smart contracts, thus ensuring they do not drain liquidity arbitrarily. Liquidity locking will increase users' trust in projects and drive further credibility into tokens. The product will enable lock splitting, incremental locks, and ownership transfer. This is really awesome because new projects are always terrifying to new users, especially because a lot of new projects are scams. How do you know you're not gonna go buy into some random new token on TinyMan and then the developers just pull out all the liquidity tomorrow, preventing anybody from being able to sell their tokens? Using Yieldly's product, users will have the peace of mind of knowing that the product developers of whatever token that they're interested in has locked their liquidity in Yieldly smart contracts and can't arbitrarily just drain out the liquidity of that project. This is really, really big because this is the problem that plagues a lot of new projects and quote unquote meme tokens. Next on the list in Q3 of 2022, we have end to end automated launchpad. We've already spoke a little bit on this before, but let's dive a little bit deeper now. The first complete functional solution on Algorand designed to serve every aspect of a project's needs. The suite of decentralized products enables projects to distribute tokens and raise liquidity via multiple automated avenues like liquidity locking, which we just mentioned, IDO or initial DEX offering, fair distribution, and liquidity pools, LP pools. Now this product roadmap is absolutely huge and I didn't even go over everything within it. In the video description below, I will link to the Medium article that goes over the entire roadmap for those that wish to read any of the parts that I left out. I did choose specific parts because they were my most favorite parts and they were the parts, in my opinion, that are the most important to Yieldly holders and the community. Now they did give one caveat and that was that this roadmap does not include partnerships planned or the launches that they can't reveal yet. And what that means to me is, aside from this gigantic roadmap, they have plenty of things to discuss with us at likely Decipher in Miami, Algorand's inaugural event that's happening in about a week. I think everyone in the community should keep their eyes peeled for that. I will report on any information as it comes, but I'd love to know what you think. Do you think this product roadmap is as good as I think it is? Let me know down in the comments below. That being said, I really appreciate everyone that stuck around to the end of this video. I think Yieldly is one of the best projects on Algorand. It's currently my third biggest holding. I'm super excited for any of the news that will be coming out of Decipher. And yeah, like I said, I'd love to know what you think. Please let me know down in the comments below. If you liked the video, please smash that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing to my channel. And on that note, I appreciate you all watching. Thanks.